Hi, my name is Doug McClure and I'm part of IBM's CSI IT Operations Analytics Development Organization, where I'm also a member of our data science team helping customers explore the value of IT Operations Analytics. Today I'd like to show you a short demonstration about how we see the vision of IT Operations Analytics coming to life with a predictive analytics capability and our search analytics capability coming together to change the dynamics of IT operations as we know it today with a reactive response to problems in complex application environments. I'd like to start the demo today by showing how we would engage with our subject matter expert via a predictive anomaly email for the application developer and operations type subject matter expert. The application developer app DevOps type persona is engaged with an email that gives them insights into the anomaly condition within their application environment. Provides them with key information such as the application, the metric, and other key metadata that helps them understand the context of this anomaly in that application environment. Let's explore this anomaly and figure out how we might triage that well ahead of our traditional IT operations, APM, and infrastructure monitoring systems have not yet alerted us. We're presented with a list of anomaly events from our Predictive Insights product, which gives us key information about the anomalies detected from our real-time analytic approach. I can see that I have a number of anomalies related to key metrics for our application environment, which is made up of a web server, an application server, and a database server, providing a day trader function for our company. The original email that engaged me and prompted me to want to investigate this anomaly was related to our percent used metric, which is a key metric related to application and database performance for our application environment. So let's start investigating that anomaly. I'm going to click on that percent used anomaly event and explore what has happened around the time that the anomaly event has been created. I'm going to use our Assess Anomaly tool and look back 15 minutes in time to see if I've had any other monitoring events from our APM tools, from our infrastructure monitoring tools, from our network monitoring tools that might have caused this anomaly condition. Now this search is running across all of the available data in my log analysis tool. Events from Netcool Omnibus, events from our APM tool, and other sources. I'm presented with a number of key pieces of information related to the anomalies, but I didn't find any traditional monitoring events from our APM tools. The predictive and proactive anomaly response happened before our traditional thresholds and events were generated. Let's try and investigate what I should do next. I'm going to change to our dynamic grid-based view in the log analysis tool. And I'm going to find the anomaly of interest and begin to investigate. As an app DevOps persona, I might not be familiar with this percent use metric and know what I should do to continue my triage and troubleshooting activity. So let's click on that metric name. And let's send that to IBM's support portal, APIs in the cloud, and see what IBM thinks we should do related to this percent use metric. I'm presented with a number of expert advice suggestions like red papers, red books, support notes, and other best practices that might help me triage and troubleshoot this problem. I see one that's very interesting related to Webster application server monitoring. Let's investigate. I can click on this link and be taken immediately to the red paper site where I can download the red paper and investigate. What I found in the red paper is a very specific section talking about database interactions and how the percent used metric is used to measure the health of the connection pool for my application server and database. It's telling me that a connection leak might be present in my application environment when the percent used metric is increasing. And that my next triage step would be to perform a trace for the connection pool. As an app DevOps SME, I'm familiar with that process. I remove my application server from the cluster, I enable trace, 
return the app server to the cluster, which generates a trace log, which now I can bring into the log analysis tool and investigate this problem more closely. If you're familiar with running traces on an application server, they generate tremendous volumes of log data. Very complex to read, full of many, many, many multi-line stack trace type messages. Bringing that into our log analysis tool gives me the opportunity to easily search, sort, and interact with that data and find what's happening in the connection pool. This process allows me to greatly simplify how I interact with those logs and extract key insights about what to troubleshoot next. I can see some key metrics being reported in each of these trace log records. I can search across those and create dashboards that give me insight into what's happening next. So I've created a simple dashboard that gives me insight into the connection requests and the connection close requests in my application server connection pool. And what I can see here is that I'm requesting more connections than the connections are being closed, so therefore I have a connection leak in my environment. Ultimately, the root cause of this problem is a release overnight for new application code in my environment, which introduced an anomaly, the connection pool leak, and the root cause fix is to roll that application release back to restore things to normal. So this is an example of how we're using predictive IT operations analytics to alert the right subject matter expert, the app DevOps SME, who's empowered to log into that product, the app server, to triage and troubleshoot, to get them into the right types of data, logs, metrics, events of tremendous volumes, using expert advice to identify what to do next to fix that problem. All before the traditional APM infrastructure monitoring tools and events have been generated and the traditional IT operations reactive process has taken place greatly shrinking the time to identify and isolate and fix those problems before IT, business, and customer impact has worsened. Thanks for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the demo.